Hello there, and that's Mogwai here, and I got yet another Legends of Runeterio for guys today. And today we're gonna feature the new Nightfall. And unfortunately, the new Nightfall does not contain Nocturne. And I say this because I know a lot of you who watch me are big fans of Nocturne. And this is probably the first time that I've showcased a Nightfall deck without him in the package. Instead, we're going with Diana and Aphelios in a deck that's trying to make use of the newest win condition target received with the expansion, and that is Winding Light. Before we talk about this really awesome and very powerful card right here, I'm going to give a big shout out to Dices Lucia, who is the original deck builder of uh, this list. I had an easy time remembering that name because Lucia is actually my sister's name. So yeah, apparently my, my sister has an alt account and made this deck, and yeah. Facts. So yeah, shout out to Dices Lucia uh, for the decklist. I saw it uh, popped up on my Twitter and I found it really neat. And I was messing around with the Felios with Winding Light, but it, a bit of a, like a Nightfall Invoke uh, sort of hybrid. But it turns out that for this meta, it's better to go all in with Nightfall because you are es es essentially you are faster as a deck than any other variant of Targon. And it's important to be fast in this metagame because we are in what I like to call a snowball-y mid-range meta. So it's not actually, you know, like control per se, because these are, they're, they actually do play out like mid-range, but the decks that we're running into have this tremendous power spike around turn six and seven. Uh, we're talking about Viego with the Legion Deserter, which is just insane synergy, right? We're also talking about uh, Thralls, which is also a deck that just has this tremendous power boost uh, during around that time after a promising feature has been played with the ability to even go even further with Italia Duplication as well. Uh, other decks, you know, Zed Bard, also Snowball, uh, like crazy. So we're, we're running through these decks that just, at one point, if you're playing like the standard mid-range decks, you know, like Shen Jarvan, for example, or even Action Sivir, you uh, struggle a lot with these sorts of decks because the, there's a certain point in which they just completely overtake you, right? So that's the kind of environment we're in. So if you don't want to play a deck like this, you, the faster you're able to go, the better, which is why I believe uh, Nightfall is uh, it's a pretty solid, like, non-meta option to climb right now. This is a very good deck, and I've been doing really uh, good with it. I think I may even push to Masters with it. I'm pretty close to Masters. I'm, like, in, in mid-Diamond 2 right now. So maybe I could resort to this one. Like, I, if you want to climb with something different, I definitely do recommend this deck right here. So we are building our win condition, or we're playing, we're incorporating a new win condition. Yeah, that's probably better phrasing. In the Winding Light, seven mana, six five with Overwhelm that has a nightfall effect of giving other allies plus two and plus one and Overwhelm this round. This card is nuts. And even though there's a lot of like. People were saying, well, this card can be even better with like Daybreak, and I said that too, you know? Like it can be better, like it doesn't have to be uh, strictly good with Nightfall. A lot of us were forgetting about some insane synergy this card has with a Shadow Owls card known as Unto Dusk, right? We've seen this card in Nightfall in the past, but because Nightfall has not really been a part of the meta for a while, this card has kind of been forgotten for a bit. But this card has the ability of triggering the Nightfall effect. So the idea is that with full spell mana, we can go for a one mana or zero mana Nightfall Enabler. We can play the Windy Light and then we on to Dusk onto the Windy Light. Again, giving plus two, plus one and Overwhelm to all of our other allies again. Which allows us to trample pretty much everything in a game. And that is essentially the idea behind this new Nightfall deck. We have tremendous synergy with Onto Dusk. Obviously still really good with Doom Beast and potentially other combos as well. They can enable uh, you to cycle through your deck and be an, a Nightfall enabler as well under a pinch. And it's just so strong with our win condition that this deck is, is really strong right now. Like it's very, very efficient at what it does. And I really like the distributions here. We have a full set of, of Solari Soldier. I know it seems like counter lore, you know, to play a Solari unit within our Nightfall deck, but it's just a really good card to enable Nightfall. You know, one mana, three, three, like what's more to like? Also really good in the meta because it is one of the direct one drop counters to Annie, for example, right? Completely halting her. And there's nothing that really wants to trade into this turn one, unless you feature like the, the crocodile guy from Shurima. But besides that, there's not much at all. And Solari Soldier is really, really, really strong. We have, uh, of course, a full set of Narnia Dustbringer and a full set of Stygian Onlooker. Heavens Aligned, again, to have cheap Nightfall enablings alongside a full set of Fading Memories. 
Diana, really solid after the recent buff. A one-off of Sky Shadows that patches up the deck really nicely. And then a full set of Crescent Guardian alongside Unspeakable Horror. And of course, Pale Cascade. So pretty low curve, pretty aggressive version uh, of Nightfall, but very, very effective. I I've been playing this deck a lot, actually. And I've had really good success with it. So highly recommend it if you want to play something different, like I said, that is good for climbing. And that's where I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this ramble. I'm like... Am I, am I stuttering over my words? I'm, I'm probably like speaking too fast. <laughs> but yeah, have a solid day. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Legends from Dark content. Hope you enjoy. Sorry for the lack of Nocturne. Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to find another version of him, especially with like the uh, the new four mana card that actually should work really well with him in the Harrowing Return. So, you know, it's not the end for Nocturne. But in the meantime, hopefully you guys enjoy this. I love me some Aphelios, and I should be playing this champion more because ever since the, the revert... He is actually one of my all-time favorite champions, and his new art is sick as hell. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. Do the matches, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, here we go. Annie Jin. Who can go face faster? Well, we got the turn one Solari Soldier, which is really neat, and we got double Stygian Onlooker as well. I mean, this is a pretty good opener, honestly. Because with the Fading Memories, we can set up a pretty neat turn three attack after we lead off with Solari, which nothing in this deck can really contest. You can go pretty nuts with these Stygians here. Raise your weapon, Sunwind! Explosive Prime. Trade? It's a good trade. Yeah, it's a good trade. Go for it. Serious. You prevent three damage. Yeah, you lose your unit and your skill proc for just level up and a billion other things, but you 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 prevent three damage. What a terrible player. Oh, there's your boy. Or your thing, I don't even know who you are. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Alright, we got some good blocks here. They'll never see it come yeah, I don't know. It was pretty no telegraphed. Let me attack on three so we don't need to... Um, you know, because when, when thinking about the Dust Pedal Dusk and the cost reduction for the Winding Light, if you're attacking on, turn, on an even turn, then it, it makes sense. Otherwise, you don't really need to... I want to go in. <laughs> Say so. Bro, I'm getting greedy. I, I want I want the damage here. I'm greedy. Like, I'm sorry, like I really want to face the face player so bad. Like look at 12 damage. Yeah, I got two one lights! But I believe in the heart of the cards. I believe we'll over we'll heal because now this thing just just gets us where we need to be going, English. I'll shoot the wings off a bill I wanna wait for them to play their stun, because I know they have a stun. I know that. Oh, we have a good trade to that. Okay, we, we actually have good trades into this. Remember our promise, a We have some good trades here. We got a 3-3 into this, we got a 2-1 into that. Feels good, man. Alright, we're still, you know, in some need for, uh, you know, stuff and things and stuff. Believe, but I believe. I believe, Aphelios. I'm gonna keep this Crescent Guardian and see if, um... Let's go make some friends, tippers. Let's take some time and think, you know? You know, maybe I have some secret play here. I'm going to pass for now. Debating something cool here. Okay. We don't need to trigger the Nightfall anymore. I'm not really that worried about it. Like, if, if they want to go for an any of attack, I think it's... Is it fine? 
we seek forgiveness, we must commit a ball. Embrace your faith as I have mine. Go, sir. Remember the objective. Alright, I get, uh, I get. I, I never done that with Aphelios, right? Don't get that. Uh. Clear the board. Okay, they go face with that. They should have gone face onto this. Because now I know for a fact that nothing in their deck prevents this open attack kill. So I'll take it. That was a pretty turbo game. But I'll take it. You ain't got nothing. Nada! Get out of here! Keep faith, Aphelios, and we will. Ooh, old school. Okay, I haven't seen this deck in a while. Didn't even recognize. I don't have that skin. How do I get that skin? Did I miss it somehow? That would be really sad. Um, I think I can drop the Pale Cascade. And keep everything else. I love that Doom Beast, especially considering the matchup, but I love Diana in a deck like this. Okay, that's a bit of a heavy draw, but you know. We got a Nightfall Enabler here. Alright. On to Dusk is cool. We have to do it. It's a lot of damage. But we have a lot of healing as well. Next round, we're gonna do this, this. No, next round, we wanna develop you, so. That's what we get here. Okay, that works. Nice, just in time. We were peaceful. Ah, oh, Dustbringer, you came just in time. Anything else? <laughs> Let's hope no Mystic Shot here, though. By the moon's crescent light. They're going wide. I cannot turn back. Face your heretic. <laughs> Mother of God, is that a is that a vision that I'm seeing? Holy shit. It's not that impressive. That's impressive. Mm, I can get you, and then I can enable you, which will save me a lot. And then I can start developing you later. That works, that's sparkling to me, so we do this. That's a good unit to have to cycle through my unnecessary cards, so we do that. The unspeakable horror here, and that's a lot of damage we're preventing. Enough for us to uh Oh Nightfall oh! That's like the Nightfall version of Yu-Gi-Oh! Alright, that sparkles with me. I think I'm gonna discard the Cloven Way. It's a bit, um, I mean, it's, it's resource. It's good to have. I wanna make use of you, though. No, but if I if I do this, I can play both of these Doom Beasts, which I think is really important, so we're actually gonna do that. Yep. Our kingdom! Oh, our kingdom. 
so she's not like that. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't communist there. <laughs> Alright, let's go again. Oh, I mean, do I need to? I'd rather have my options open. Night descends. I will be heard. Trade you into you potentially. Come, a new phase awaits. The only problem is a, a jinx here. I didn't do nothing. Do better than that, boy. Oh, that's pretty neat. Now we're going in. Now we're going in, and that fading icon, that was a high roll. I will admit. Yeah, that's quite a bit of power. That was good timing. I'll agree. Ha 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 Look at that swing, boy! <laughs> the power! Rest now, Fel. Feel the heat. It's aggro day. I don't know why, but it is aggro day today. We're gonna keep the Lunari the Springer. Uh, everything else, we I mean, I don't. I never want to mulligan away onto Dusk, but uh, Crazy Guard is not bad here. But I'd rather see Doom Beast. I do I lead off with? I think I think in this case I want to use Solari Soldier as a blocker. Light flowers upon my blade. Lunari, rise. Great. Oh wow. I'm happy with that trade. Bang a name. Where's my axe? Okay, that didn't work out too well. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with that. Ready. Raise your weapon, Sunwood. Looking for trouble. It found you. Well, we know where we're going now. I will be heard. Gotta get rid of that misfortune, baby. <laughs> With a bing. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Get the fuck out of here! Alright. Laughing at me. Laughing your grave. Feel me in. What should we do about that? All of it Baby All or nothing. I'll take that. There's no game plank that I need to worry about in the late game, so. Got all the on to dusk here. Yeah, may as well. 
I'm gonna stun this so that it can't attack next round. It's more useful than stunning Twist of Fate here. I want Twist of Fate to trade in. Keep up, keep up. And I do wanna... I think it's time to go with you. Gives me an extra blocker and... It's, it represents a lot of damage, which is gonna encourage him that he can't block with his board. Devotion through battle! Devotion through battle! This is a huge hit. And considering how he's played up until now, like, Ligar's do part- Oh, wow, he takes it. He takes it, alright. Alright. Oh, we stunned that. I kind of want to play this, honestly. Like, I don't give a fuck about this thing. What else am I worried about? Yeah, I'm just gonna do this. Remove this as a blocker for next attack as well. This thing, like, being stunned is, like, very notable. Yeah, alright. We don't care. Black trouble. seems to be just very purely aggressive here, so because of how we've been able to keep our health here, even though we don't have the combo with Onto Dust, like, this still sh I feel like this is gonna be enough to take him down. There's no Gangplank. Even though Gangplank would be a liability because the Powder King would be very easy for us to capitalize on, but this is, like, they don't have the health stats. They do not have the health stats. They need to knock some firmware here. They need to knock some firmware here defensively, which will set them back dramatically. And it's only Noxium Fervor, or if they have- if Double Up is the worst case scenario here. Don't tell me I have a Double Up. Easy. Timing is everything. That's still... They could have prevented Lethal. What? <laughs> they could- they had the Noxium Fervor. Dude, but I- <laughs> oh. Aggro is very difficult to play. Oh boy. This is one of the very worst matchups, for sure. I don't feel like Diana is very good here, to be honest. Um, onto Dust generally is a keep. But even here, I mean, no, I, I'm gonna... This is a very valuable card. This is, like, perhaps one of the most valuable cards. Even if we have a more difficult time, like, actually preserving units for it. Us going second gives us a good attack, though, here with the uh, Solari Soldier. This is a difficult unit for them to deal with. This, not as much. But now, unless they have a thermogenic beam... It's a great time to be a Stygian Outlooker. Or a Blade's Edge. I don't know if the, I don't know if the, the Caitlyn variants play Blade's Edge. They do have a thermal beam. They always have, like, everything. This deck always has everything on answer in the book. Punish transgressions. We're gonna get a good trade here. That's a free trade. My favorite kind of trade. And we're not even damaged anymore, which is the most important thing. Even though wasting that on this doesn't feel too great. Um, I think I can I can afford one of these. What am I looking to... Um, I think you, honestly. For two mana, I spread out. Good 
stop. Is it, if they, getting that thermogenic beam out of them allows us to, um, to do this. I'm gonna get the Calibrum. And now we're gonna try to just get free value out of this. That's a neat pull. Because with the Sky Shadows here, we can actually just play it and even uh, and get our mana back. So this is a very nice draw to have. And now we have an even better target for Calibrum. The same calling card from our other case. The one-off of Sky Shadows putting in the work here. All right, so they're gonna chain spells onto that. But Ophelius has already gotten value. Cannot ask for more from your boy. He put in the work. So close. Follow the horizon. Still gonna keep him in the back. Just because if they have the removal, they they have it already. And I'm happy to see the the one health unit go down because it's the, it's the easiest for them to deal with. And now that now that we've like we're actually gonna be able to get value out of Aphelios again with the fading memories into unspeakable horror, we'll be able to, to get another moon weapon. I'll take you. Crescent Guard in there. You know, casual 3 mana 5 3 with Overwhelm. Go ahead, spend more resources on this. Mm -hmm. Oof. We're getting we're getting close to a next round with eight. I wanna I'm gonna have you into you. Makes me kind of just want to spread out with this. The problem is Arachnoid Sentry stops us quite a bit. So I think we just... I think we, we may just open swing here. And then we try to set up a board. I mean, this into this into this. Like, this is a very strong, winding light turn, right? This into this doesn't provide us that much better of an attack, and there's a lot of things that they can do to this trap, so I'm gonna go ahead. I can hold you in the back here. No, no, I'm gonna... It's a good enough hit. It does open up uh, a static shock, though. Let me get you that file. I'm not gonna play this into like a. Yeah, okay. Okay. Could grab it some of this. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. How about no? I've always seen none of it. back. Come on. Give me that pass. I'll take this then. This ephemeral will really deter them from attacking because nobody wants to attack into a free what is essentially a card that's going to go down for free and that gives us time. And that gives us time. And to go with the solar sword that we created a while back into winding light with on to dusk back though we're, we're powering through we don't care how many chump blockers you got it don't matter we got this motherfucker and we're going in 
Oh, believe me, we're going in. This combo is nuts. We are gonna muscle through his entire back row. And we're gonna push that damage so that Doom Beast can finish him off if we don't just blow him back this turn. Do you have double thermogenic beams? Rise of the sun. I'ma rise on you! <laughs> that's all I got. Oh, that's it? That's it? That's it, baby. All right. All right. Well, we're going in. We're going in, baby. The power! Punish transgressions! Do you got the stats, boy? What's your white? I don't think you do. I don't see it. Yeah. I got to do better than that, but unfortunately, there just isn't. You ain't got enough. Oh my god, that feels good. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Very meta day today for sure. Bunch of aggro, then, uh, you know, then Caitlyn Ezreal. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't bring out the names. And now it's a bard thing. Zed, just round things up. We're gonna go for a full mulligan here. It's not a bad hand, but it could be better. Like, nothing here is, like, overly convincing. This, this sparkles. This indeed sparkles with me more. I don't need to... I can, I can set you up here, actually. And preserve that, yeah. So I'm going to set up the Nightfall on the Sijin Onlooker with the Lunarian Dustbringer. So unless they get they get another bird that gets buffed, it's very unlikely that whatever they play is going to be able to block into this. So this is the best moment to trigger this Nightfall, or I could just do you. Raise your weapon, Sunwind. We're attacking on even, so we're going to want to be using the Dust Petal Dust more likely on the Winding Light anyways, so we don't need to rush the Lunarian Dustbringer. This gives us a good attack that they can't really block into properly, and sets up a Stygian Lion Looker, which is just ultimately better. We can set this up later. It's a very powerful attack. They can't trade into this, and, and this is not a good trade for them either. 7 damage. They got greedy. I'll take it. I'll take it every day of the week. Oh, that's an early chime. Okay. Well, now we know. Now we know. No matter what, we have no good trace into Zed. We're just gonna have to throw in something weak there. But we do have good trace into everything else that wants to attack. If we do this. Otherwise, we trade even into that. But this sets up a good attack next round, anyways. They forced us to choose death or the flame. So we'll take the damage, I think. We have healing, anyways. We will resist. It's quite a bit of damage. I can just prevent that. Yeah, I can just get that trade off here. It's better. The problem is I actually don't have a good attack. Yeah, probably, it was probably better to, to set you up here. Would have deterred the attack a little bit better, allowed me to keep a stronger board. Um, yeah, because that, I just realized I don't have I don't have a great attack into that anyways. Bless the faithful and sear the heretics. How important is it to... I mean, we're, we're gonna be setting up the, the hit next round anyways. I think it's just better to go with this now, actually. Drain a little bit, get that health back. See if I can get a Nightfall Enabler here. Ugh.
We're taking that hit. Because our objective is to knock him out next round. Yeah. With this and onto Dusk. Yep, that's how we're rolling. It's a race. We declare the attack first. Sure about that? To here, to here. Okay, so uh, a twin disciplines halts one of these completely, right? Twin disciplines halts this, right? But then it's two here, two here, two here, that's six. You're done. You're done. Donezo. Got him! Clean! The power of the windy light, ladies and gentlemen. Cool game. You know, pretty, pretty face, pretty straightforward. But, you know, pretty clean as well. Very anime. Yep. Not enough. You still die by one. Booyah. <laughs> Got him! Ah, no champion. Oh well. 